Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. And this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, make sure you get in line. Okay, I am doing little pockets of time. You know, like if you get in within this 15 minute window, you get a little extra something. But, uh, and I'll be doing that all the way up to Christmas. But, I mean, if you think you'll catch it, if you're subscribed, you will. You'll see the notification come up. Um... Uh, but otherwise, <laughs> that's too stressful for you to try to catch the window. Just sign up at my website, angelsouls444.com. I do have a lot of upcoming lives. The next one will be on soul code activation. Please don't miss it. Now, as far as all the energy that's happening in December, it's major, it's big, it's beautiful, potentially, okay? We are working in a world where as much as we want to carry the light, as I've been saying in these videos, there are other people who are choosing to not turn on the light. And so they're going to continue bumping around in the dark. Okay. So you can't sit here and listen to this message and go, you said December was going to be perfect. When has life ever been perfect? We are in such a major time of understanding our human power. Okay. Our individual power by taking accountability and admitting certain truths to ourselves. Okay. So anyway, check out the description box for all those upcoming lives. For December, I will probably put like two a week that way because people are going to be busy, you know, around the holidays. Okay. So we have counselor, Archangel Osriel. Osriel has been coming up quite a bit um, with a message of transformation. We're in it. We're in it right now. You are a natural counselor. Many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Um, that's not going to be for everybody. Okay. So counselor can mean you are talking to a therapist, you know, like you're really willing to work on the spiritual self, which can trigger the psychological self. So that's why I always say these are not, you know, a substitute for therapy. So if something comes up, you know, think of spirituality and your spiritual practice as kind of getting you, um, aware, open and ready to deal with how certain things have affected your brain wiring. Okay. So there's that. But this is also, I think, talking about, you know, getting a little help from the other side, right? Getting a little help from our friends on the other side. And uh, we don't really, it, we can't skate along the surface anymore. I mean, there will be lots of people, probably at least 50% of this audience that will choose to keep just going along the surface. And of the rest of the 50% of those people think, oh, I've done my spiritual growth. I know everything. You can't tell me nothing. Okay. Uh, they're not going to grow either. They just walk around like they're the boss. And then there's the rest of us that will feel the weight of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll start to kind of really take its toll on us. But um, maybe we're impatient or whatever. But, you know, we really, really, really need to make an effort to be at peace within ourselves. That is going to be such a firm foundation from which we can create, show up, do what we got to do. All right, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.